Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today about the new Wahoo Kicker Core. Uh, now this was announced earlier this morning, and this is actually the first time we've had a chance to ride it. Um, GP Llama, Shane Miller, and I went ahead and I, we stole it from the booth, and we've got basically 12 hours to make something magical on this. So we've got a bunch of tests we're gonna run through, um, both him and I caught trading off on both the new Kicker Core as well as the new Kicker 2018. Uh, you'll be able to see both his and my videos and reviews and all that junk up in the corner or down below in the description field. But this is all about the Kicker Core, so we're gonna kind of do a quick walk through of this and before we jump on and do some riding and then we'll come back with the actual data from an accuracy standpoint uh, both of us have multiple power meters on the bike so we can go ahead and see how things are lining up so looking at this unit itself um, you'll notice compared to the existing kicker the first thing is that it's got these kind of legs that go out like an older trainer would um, so not necessarily the direct drive style uh, where it's more of this kind of tower and here it's just a more kind of common uh, trainer leg scenario it also means there's no adjustability for it um, so you can see Shane went ahead and had a kind of like clean up the ground around it to make it nice and even versus in my case I can just simply use a little uh, adjustable feet there and find just the right footing so didn't have to worry about that but there's things that you're saving on that cost right so this is $11.99 this is $8.99 so 300 bucks difference and for most of us on wood floors or whatever inside the house it's probably not really an issue next we got the flywheel uh, so in this case here this is a 12 pound flywheel uh, versus back here this is now a 16 pound flywheel that compares very similarly up here with the old kicker so the kicker 2017 for example was a 12.5 pound flywheel so we're talking this is just a tiny bit small or very 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 uh, difference or small difference there in a lot of ways this is essentially a kicker 17 that's quiet that's the best way to think about it is last year's kicker it's quiet it's just as accurate as last year's kicker roughly the same flywheel as last year's kicker except now it's silent which gets to that silent piece the belt has been changed out here so the belt here as well as here are the same um, from a quietness standpoint and we're going to test that and we'll show you what that sounds like in a moment here uh, but that's a really big thing that means that you know you don't necessarily need to spend 1600 bucks or 1400 bucks whatever it is now for the new tax neo um, instead you can do that with half the cost um, so a couple more things one is that the cassette is not included in the kicker core um, it is included in the full kicker a cassette will generally run you 50 to 60 bucks uh, plus if you don't have the tools another 10 to 20 bucks for those tools once you have them though you're good for life so you know it is what it is you have to install it yourself installation takes five minutes to install a cassette um, maybe a few minutes more if you haven't done it before but also pretty easy beyond that it's got the usual uh, kicker kind of components so you got the LED status lights here on the back um, so you can go ahead and see there's a blue one there and a red one there and then power is required so we run power here to these power bricks uh back there and and that's that um speaking of power it's probably a good good thing to kind of note you may be wondering why we're next to an rv um this is your bike in case i didn't mention at the very beginning so uh we take the rv rent it in uh, in amsterdam we drove it down uh, and so we're here in the rv park of your bike just across the street from the halls right there so very very close by um and it allows us just to kind of like steal a trainer for the night and, and see how things work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of tests um, one is that Shane's gonna start off with a, a llama test that he has kind of standardized test protocol for trainers uh, runs about 30 to 40 minutes or so um, and I'm gonna do a similar test on the other kicker trainer that I've been doing and now this video is not gonna talk about this at all but I'm just gonna buy some time there and then we're gonna switch and I'm gonna do a 10 by 10 or sorry 30 by 30 test on this so this allows me to do like how responsive is that trainer itself uh, to very quick changes in power so going from like 125 watts to 400 watts like this and does that do that quick enough does it respond quick enough so we'll be focusing on that after that and that's kind of a good preview of things keep in mind this unit isn't shipping until sometime in august so this is more just like an early look at it how does it feel how does it respond how quiet is it all that kind of stuff so with that let's go ahead and get started um, what we'll do first though is we'll cut to some footage of the sound so you just so you can hear it uh, the biggest thing to note right now is that if i were to go ahead and make the spin it sounds quiet sounds quiet until I stop it so once I stop you're gonna hear that flywheel there um, now in this case it's a little bit louder because this particular unit's flywheel wasn't properly greased out of the factory it is a bit of a, a prototype of sorts um, so it will sound probably a little more like the one back here in terms of that flywheel so I get to spin around you can see that's definitely not as tinny sounding it's it's a little bit less um, so that is a minor difference there just to keep in mind so i wouldn't over like over analyze that on this particular one uh, but with that we'll get the camera set up and just kind of show you what it sounds like uh, riding along at full zwift speed okay so here we are with the trainer um, and shane riding it right now he's at about 20 kilometers an hour roughly 
20, 28 kilometers an hour. Uh, so almost 20 miles an hour. Um, now what you're hearing, what you heard in a second when I stopped talking is really the chain. So unfortunately we have a 10 speed bike in this case on 11 speed cassettes. So that's number one, it's not helping us. The chain on this particular rental bike is also a bit old. So you're hearing that like metal tinny sound. So separate that from the lack of sound of any sort of whirring of a trainer itself. So here's about 10 seconds of audio. And just to hear how loud Shane, this is, Shane's gonna go ahead and make a quick gear change just so you can hear the gear change. Mm -hmm. So all you're hearing there is gear change. You're not hearing any sort of base trainer itself. So he's passing through 30 kilometers an hour right now. He's gonna go up a little bit to about 40-ish or so. So you can hear the, the creaking from the, the whole bike situation. And you hear a very slight whirring of the back of the, the flywheel. So it's not, it's definitely not like absolutely silent, um, but the sounds you're hearing are primarily metal and chain type sounds. And there is the free hub that you're hearing now. So that's that louder piece that we talked about a moment ago. Okay, so as you heard, the main sound there is really just the, the crap situation of between the bike and the actual trainer itself. Uh, it's not really so much the actual trainer, so um, I'm not super worried about that. Uh, things sound pretty good in the trainer side, it's just the bike meshing with a particular trainer being the wrong cassette and all that kind of stuff uh, isn't ideal. But anyways, it gives you kind of a bit of an impression of what it sounds like from a trainer standpoint, and now we're going to start the accuracy piece. Okay, so there we are, it is now dark as you can see. Um, so we've been on these for an hour and a half uh, in total between uh, different sessions. So we did sessions on Zwift in erg mode and sim mode. We did sessions on trainer road, uh, 30 by 30s. Uh, across the board, it's really solid. We'll link to some of the data sets down below here. Um, but I can tell you, in looking at all the head units we had lined up there, everything was spot on across the board. Um, so uh, we will do the analysis of the data itself. You've got to see that in my full kicker core post down in the description there. Um, but as far as this video, I just say that looking at the data, it looks, it looks spot on. I'll overlay some data right now between some of those two sets so you can see what it looked like first in uh, the Zwift workout mode and then in the train road 30 by 30 mode. Um, so really, really clean data there. I think ultimately this is essentially just a kicker. Um, it's effectively a kicker from last year, but a quiet kicker. Uh, so you can save 300 bucks. Um, I think Wahoo's basically gonna totally cannibalize their higher end sales with this unit here, unless you really, really want those feet to be perfect this is a much better deal and it's quiet. Um, I would say in a lot of ways, this is probably what Wash, Wahoo should have released last year uh, in terms of competing with the Tax Flux and the Elite Threto and stuff like that. So I'm impressed. I would say this is would be uh, one of the go-tos to look at between, as I mentioned, the Flux and the Diretto um, for the 2018-2019 season. So with that, there you go. Do not forget the rest of the Eurobike jazz that is up in the corner up there. Um, there's a whole playlist of stuff. There's tons more to go as soon as we can get off these trainers and just get back to typing and writing and editing. Um, if you found this interesting, whack that like button at the bottom or the subscribe button also down there. Have a good one.